Welcome to this tutorial about creating a bar chart component in Blazor. I'm going to add a new Razor component, call it bar chart. On this component, we will define two properties marked with the parameter attribute. The first one will be the title, and the second one will be the data. To represent the data, I've chosen dictionary with key of type int and value of type i enumerable tuple with string and int. Call it data, and it has to have a public getter and a public setter so that we can set it. Uh, now, why a dictionary? Because I want to model data that has a certain year. So this int here will represent the year. Now, I style, style it a bit. So everything will be in these in that alert. It won't span the whole with only eight out of 12 possible columns. So we will be using bootstrap. So here I'm going to create a little header section. In this header section, we will just have one row and in this row we will have the title that we get as an argument and we will also have a select so that we can choose the year that we want the data to be displayed Also here, we don't want that it spans the whole possible width. And I want some margin on the, on the left-hand side so that we have a bit of a separation. And also here, I'm setting the border to dark. Now, of course, we have to bind this somewhere too. I'm going to bind it to a fully implemented property. Now, why am I choosing a fully implemented property? because I want to make a little check if selected year is uh, zero, then I'm going to return back the last key on our uh, data dictionary here. So that has basically one use case. If we initialize the component, of course, select year will be initialized with zero. And in this case, you want to return the latest data in this data dictionary here. So that's why we are uh, taking the last key. And of course, we have to do this in a property because in a field initializer, we can't reference another non-static field. So I hope this makes sense. Now here, I'm just going to enumerate over all the, the keys. <clears throat> and let's just reverse everything. Now, of course, this depends on how you are getting the data. But just for this demonstration, I'm reverse it. And then here, I'm just displaying it. Now, somewhere, of course, we also have to display there the data. Here I'm filtering it. I'm only going to display the data where the, the key is the right one. Now, here I am using the select many uh, lynch operator. Select many is taking uh, I enumerable of different collections and flattens them out to one collection. So what we have here is this key value pair and the key value pair itself has a collection. 
And so what will happen here is we will flat everything out to one uh, collection. Now here I'm creating the bars for the actual bar chart. Again, the border will be dark. And the length of the chart of the bar will be calculated here. Will be displayed as a percentage and here it is item two because String here will be the name of the data set and an int will be its value. And then here I'm just going to make some string interpolation. Uh, item one. And here Item two. Now I also have to create a legend so that the chart gets a bit more. I have to create a legend in here. Create a class legend. Now here I have to write our own CSS. I'm starting with one. Smaller or equal 10. Now we multiply i with 10 so that we get the percentage. So we have a legend which starts by 10% and then counts up to 100%. Now I have to style it here. Style. First, I'm going to style the div. I'm giving them the uh, transition property uh, one second linear so that if we change the data, then we are getting a little transition. But you will see it in the demonstration. Now, the legend display flex. I'm just going to mark this as important because we want to override the bootstrap files. I'm not 100% sure if this would be necessary, but I'm just doing it. And the height will just be uh, 10 pixels. Now, for every section in the legend, we want the width to be 10% because they have to represent, um, yeah, 10% of the of the whole 100% scale and display is also flex just because we want to center no we, we don't want to center them we want to push the span to the end and for every span in this section, we just want to give it margin right of about three pixels so that we have a bit of a of a distance. So now, of course, I have to reference this component here in the index bar chart component. Title will be political. parties and now the data will be set in here dictionary key type int value type by enumerable of tuple string and int call it data I'm going to initialize this in the initialized method Data equals new dictionary. And then with the dictionary initializer, I start in the year 2019. New list of tuple. I'm 
just uh, now the names for the political parties will just be color names, but at least in the green case, I think it works too, at least in my country. Now I paste it two times, <clears throat> 2020. And 45. <clears throat> Yeah, just leave. So, and now I have to, of course, pass it here. So, let's have a look. So we start out in the year 2021, we can go Okay, I know we are not actually binding to the property here in this for each. Okay, so I'm going to change two things real quick. The first one is the styling. I think I have it as danger, but I'm not going to go with danger. I'm going to rename it to dark. That's a bit more classy. Now, here in this select, we have to bind it, of course, otherwise we won't be able to change the year, selected year, and the event will be on input. So now it should work. Okay, we are starting out with the, the newest results. We go to 2020. Now we have seen the transition. Yeah, we see how we see the transition. Here we see our uh, little legend. So thank you very much for your attention.